So Bill, my final question for you is in terms of job search strategies during this 2022 COVID time, uncertainty, things are changing. What can job seekers do? How can they be prepared for the jobs that's going to apply in the future? Well, I, I'd say the whole idea of being prepared to apply for a job, because I, I can speak as an employer. I'm not an employee expert, but I can tell you from my end where the hits and misses are. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest misses are that people think I'm going to apply for a lot of jobs and to be efficient, I'm going to send the same resume and the same cover letter to everybody. No, and right. and that is probably one of the greatest failures you can have because for example companies like me one of the questions i'm going to ask you is what do you know about my agency mm -hmm. why do you want to work here yeah. because for those of us that are really trying to make a dent in the universe with our work and our business um i'm looking for people who have a shared mission shared values shared passion for the things that we're doing i don't want people that just want a job because as soon as I find somebody just wants a job, chances are if something comes up better or things get tough or whatever, they're gonna move. Yeah. I'm looking for people that share that passion and that's gonna be reflected in the first point of contact. Yeah. So do your homework, find out who you're talking to, make sure that you're messaging about why you want the job, why you feel you're uh, set up for the job, and also make sure that the things that you say that are a part of your passion, your skill shit, skill set actually align yes. with what they said they're looking for. Yeah. You know, if you, if you tell me that, uh, if I say, look, I'm looking for someone who is a brilliant video editor and has an eye for quality. And the first thing on the resume is say, I know how to bake bread. I'd say, well, I'm excited for your bread career, but you don't belong in my agency. <laughs> so do the match, yeah. make it match and make it customized yeah. because yeah when it when you do and if you do move to that next step and actually work remember you don't just work for businesses you're going to be working with people and for mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and you want to be as personal as possible the more you're going to create that bridge to a relationship that can lead to a rewarding career not just land a job mm -hmm. Yeah, always customize your resume, build relationship, networking, and that, and then wherever the journey takes you, you can fly, and then uh, you're always learning new skill set and growing from there. Yeah, yeah. So those are great tips, Bill. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation, very practical tips. And I'll leave the link of your book so that people can buy it and read it and, and implement it in their next job search. So, so again, thank you very much. And for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. Again, Bill, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, you everyone. Go. Take care.